Gary, thank you. Uh, I think I'll change about three things that I was going to talk about because you covered them, but that's all right. Uh, my name is Shannon Lewandowski, and I started a group on LinkedIn called Hockey Players Doing Business Together. Um, when I look at networking, and I think I look at it a little differently, but probably not than most of you, but I think the rest of the, the country, I look at it in three circles. So you got a big circle, right? You have your contacts, your network. Gary and I talked about this. Um, that could be anywhere from 500 people to 5,000 people. People that you know, um, people that maybe you're an acquaintance of, uh, maybe you've met at a meeting or something, but um, not, not talking to you on a regular basis. And inside that circle is a, is a smaller circle, and, the, and those are your relationships. Um, there are people that anywhere from you know, 50 to 80, maybe somewhere in there, it could be 20 to 80. Um, these are people that you talk to at least yearly, um, maybe on a little more of a regular basis, but um, you have contact with um, and you have a relationship. And inside that smaller circle, they're partners. Um, that really should be about 10 or less. These are people you're dealing with business, uh, you're doing business with on a regular basis. Um, they're, they're partners. They're, uh, that relationship means a lot more than just uh, the other two circles. And what's crazy is there's people coming in and out of those circles on a regular basis. And no matter what business you're in, that's happening. Um, so in 2009, I met a gentleman, his name is David Broso. Uh, David is, uh, lives here in St. Louis. He's a, a leader with Keller Williams here. Uh, but when we met, uh, we were introduced through someone, and uh, our, our common, uh, common ground was hockey. He's, uh, he's from Montreal, uh, moved here, got relocated with his family, and uh, we were invited to play in a golf tournament together. And, Decided to meet up at Breadco and have coffee and just kind of chat, chat about each other, learn a little bit about each other. And uh, he, he said something, and it was a, an old coach uh, that had told him that when, they, when he looks at players, when he's, doing, uh, when, he's, when he's picking his team, he always he doesn't necessarily look for the best players, but he looks for people that have PhD. And I'm like, they're doctors playing hockey. But um, what he meant by that was they were passionate, hungry, and determined wow, you know, that, that really hit home for me. Um, here I am, a, David's a, an up-and-coming leader, and, and I, I think of myself the same way, and, and here we are, we're kind of wired that way, and I, I started thinking about my other relationships and even my other partners. Some of them were guys that played hockey, and, and, and some weren't, but I thought about what, that's something else that we have in common. And I started thinking, and I'm like, okay, well, how, how do I create more, or how do I find more of these relationships? So in... Uh, in 2010, and the reason I know this is I looked up and it showed the date I created the site. It was, uh, it was in February, and it was two days after my first son was born. So I must have been in the hospital thinking, how am I going to feed this kid? <laughs> um, and how am I going to grow my business? And how am I going to you know, succeed in life? And so I created a group on LinkedIn. And I really did. I remember thinking about the name, you know, uh, it could just be hockey players. You know, you can call it whatever you want, but I wanted to be specific. I wanted to really mean something, and I want someone that clicks on that link and joins that group to understand what the title is. It's hockey players doing business together, not talking about it, not thinking about it. It's not hockey's fans talking about hockey. It's hockey players doing business together. So, now, as, as Gary mentioned, the, the numbers are growing. Um, the first couple, I just sent invitations to people that I knew, you know, guys that I knew that are contacts that are, that are on LinkedIn, right? Um, and, and it grew, and it grew, and it grew. So there, there's something here. There's, there's, there's something that people are enjoying getting together and talking about it, a talking business. Um, I still play in men's leagues, and the one thing I notice as I look down, I mean, there's... I looked down at uh, one, one winter, there's a, a president of a local baseball team is on my men's league team. Uh, there's a, a vice president of a, of a major organization. There's two business owners and a dentist. Now I know that because I just happen to listen during conversations and when things come up or I maybe Google them because I want to know what they did. Um, but there's not an environment in sports to talk about that. You don't talk about it on the bench, you don't talk about it in the locker room, and you don't talk about it with beers after the game. You talk about the game or you talk about everything else, but you really just don't talk shop. So why not create an environment that that's promoted? 
Um, there's some unbelievable people that play the game, that are passionate about the game, that are very successful, and I wanted to meet them. I wanted to, I wanted to have that opportunity. Um, so I started meeting people face to face. It started as the group grew. Business is great, and, and, and LinkedIn is great, but all that does is connect you, right? You've still got to get face to face. That's where business is done. That's when you learn about people. Um, you could be on LinkedIn and people, you think people know what you do, but they don't. You need to tell them, and you need to tell them face to face. So um, I started meeting people. I started reaching out to people, and um, <clears throat> I, I, just, I decided to start hosting events. And I had an ev event here in St. Louis, and we, I, uh, I, I asked Tom Stillman, who's the new owner of the Blues, if he wouldn't mind being a speaker at this event. And so, and so he was. He said, without a doubt. He had to push me off a little bit because it was during the lockout and he couldn't talk about anything. Um, and he was also going through the purchase of the team and couldn't talk about that either. So he wanted to wait till that was closed and that was wrapped up. And then, and then he decided, uh, he let me know via email that he could speak. And so I set up the meeting. We had 53 people there. Uh, but one of the people I met, his name was Pat Dolan. So Pat, I, I hadn't met him before. And um, so I reached out to him after the meeting and offered... Uh, invited him to lunch, and we had lunch, and I just wanted to get to know the guy, I wanted to hear his background, and, and those of you that know Pat, um, he's, a, he's a talker, and, and I'm a talker too, but I let him talk, and I learned a lot about him, but one of the things that after, at the end of our lunch, he's like, I, I got to introduce you to this guy, Gary Baker, and Tom Hill, and, and so sure enough, you know, I ended up meeting, uh, meeting Gary and meeting Tom, um, you know, great people that, that think like I do, think about networking certain ways and think about building business certain ways. And so um, in, in becoming close with Gary, <clears throat> Gary's trying to help me do what I can to grow my group, right? So he has a, he has a, a friend, probably a partner, we're going to look that way, right? Relationship, yeah. Um, that he leans on, happens to be the most connected man in America. His name's Peter Strobel. You guys all heard of him? Anybody? Okay. So he calls Peter, and he's like, hey, Peter, I got this guy in St. Louis who started this group, and do you know anybody in hockey? It's kind of a, I think there's a pause there. <laughs> and uh, from what Gary told me, Peter said, Gary, I thought we knew each other. He's like, I did. You know, we did. We did. We know, I, know, I, I know you quite well. You, you, you ran Dell for a, way, a while, and you started Friends of Peter and <clears throat> helped start companies all over. And so he said, yeah, but prior to that, I'm from Canada. I was a scout for the New Jersey Devils, and I played hockey my whole life. Perfect. <laughs> so Gary puts Peter in touch with me, and we have a conversation. I swear it went an hour and a half. And Peter, who's now in, in Austin, Texas, um, he says, I've, I've never, I haven't felt this way just having a conversation about hockey in 15 years because he's been in Texas. So he felt the passion there too. So it's just amazing the things, the people that I've met and the opportunities that I've gotten just from this small group, and now I'm here speaking in front of you. Um, but what, the thing that I want to touch on, is it doesn't matter if it's hockey or whatever your passions are, it's find something that you're passionate about and, and see how it can tie into your business. Figure out how you can be in front of people that you enjoy being a part of and you can share common things. I, when I'm in front of my clients or my business partners, I want them to know that the Blues just signed Alex Petrangelo for seven million dollars or for seven years and forty-five million dollars today. By the way, that's a good deal. <laughs> um, but I, I want my I want my clients and my partners and my and, and my relationships to know those things. They're engaged in the game of hockey. So um, the connections have led me here to speak with you. Um, as, as he mentioned, some of the stats that today the group is uh, over. Uh, as I said, 20,450. I just looked while I was back there. Um, and it's continuously growing. And I hope that, I hope, there's no way to track it. LinkedIn is very limited in what I can do. But I hope that those 20,000 people are finding the opportunities that I'm finding and meeting some of the great people that I'm meeting in their areas. Um, I love the way that Gary put today in the, in the Eagle Zine that, you know, kind of I've blurred the lines between work and play. And I agree. You know, I have, a, I have a, an unbelievable time me, meeting with my partners and, and meeting with my clients because we share some of the same passions. And so it never really seems like work. Um, really, I wanted to touch on a couple more things, and then I'll let you go. Um, Charles Jones said, 
you are in five years, as you are today, except for the people that you meet and the books that you read. I think Brian Tracy changed that a little bit and said the things that you learn. But think about, we're always wanting to develop our, our contacts, always wanting to develop more relationships and better partnerships. And so do that. Get out, reach out to people. Find people that you have common interests with that you want to do business with and connect. Thank you.